concentrate. Now that it's finished training, we'll add a block so that we can train our final model on the entire data set. And this will be the model that we deploy into production, again, to maximize its performance. Here we'll pass the training set down to the XGBoost model. Actually, we need the hyperparameters from that block. So we're going to set it as the second input argument. Let's open up our helper functions. And we will import the fit model function. Which is how we're going to add it here. And what this does is it simply trains the entire model on the entire data set. Let's go ahead and paste in some code. And this is importing a few helper functions. The build data simply takes the training data and the validation, creates a sparse matrix. Here we add a variable for max depth. Again, just to reduce the amount of training we want to, the amount of time it takes to train the model while we're just developing and testing things out. But again, production, we definitely want to increase that higher. Looks good, training's gone well. And here's the output. The model is serialized to disk, and here's a sample graph of one of the trees, one of the many trees it created. And here's the uh, dict vectorizer that we use to encode the features. Mm -hmm.